On the last episode of What We Know, we reevaluated the videos that were in DevBlock 3, and now we're going to be pushing on to the next one. So here we go. So today we're going to be talking about a Q&A that was put together by a couple of Reddit users to answer some frequently asked questions to try to clear the air. So we're going to start with this one, which has some questions that have already been answered, but to extend the video I'm just going to, you know, answer them anyway. General information. What is Ready or Not, or Ron? Ready or Not is a tactical first person shooter which places you in the boots of an elite SWAT team tasked with defusing hostile situations in intense claustrophobic environments. It's set in a nondescript modern America where an income disparity between the classes had become unstable and the country has been plunged into havoc. Bring order to chaos with up to 8 players in cooperative play, battle enemy squads in a close player versus player environment, or command AI in a striking single player mode. And they also added, though Ready or Not bears no affiliation with the SWAT video game franchise, many fans regard Ready or Not as a spiritual successor to SWAT 4. When is the next devlog update? Soon. Email, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube subscription links are available at the bottom of any Void Interactive webpage. What's Ron's development status? Can I be an alpha or beta tester? Ready or Not has been in development by Void Interactive since June 2016. It is currently pre-alpha, but closed alpha is expected to begin soon. Initially, the test pool will be people known to the developers, and that pool will be expanded exclusively by invitation on an as-needed basis. Tentatively, closed and open beta is anticipated for 2018. Specific and definitive information about public testing cycles will be published by Void in future devlog updates and announced in this subreddit. When will ROM be released? No official release date exists. Development of Ready or Not has progressed at a relatively fast, steady pace. Based on the sensitive beta cycle estimates, some fans anticipate a release as early as 2018 or sometime 2019. Now I just want to say here that we've already gotten an email saying that they're going to release in November of this year. So this might actually be a little outdated, but it does have some information that's interesting. On which platform will Ron be available? The PC Windows version will come first, then console versions will be taken into consideration. UE4 also supports Linux, but Linux is not currently a priority. What are the PC hardware requirements? Unknown, it's far too early to hazard an answer. What engine does Ron use? Unreal Engine 4. How are the animations recorded in process? Void uses high-end optical motion capture cameras used on titles such as Star Citizen and Metal Gear Solid 5 to record and process the vast amount of animations to be implemented in RON. These tools are being used to maximize their ability, meaning facial motion capture and truly long and gruesome animations are being recorded and worked on. The results so far have proven to be incredible, with high frame rate output and minimal cleanup. What can we expect from RON's animations? The team aims to make a game world feel as real as it can be with a variety of new art artistic features. On the first person front, every animation is created at 240 FPS, and the weapon models have been rigged so that they loosely shake and jolt in the appropriate location during gunfire. This is inspired heavily by Killing 4 2 and the first person animations. Procedural animations have also been introduced into the workflow. Animations are layered with a randomized node based system which creates a very realistic and very unpredictable method of shakes. When an officer fires rapidly, these can be adjusted based on the weapon, its weight, and what attachments have been placed on it, as well as officer condition. Third person animations have received similar treatment, with a series of hit reactions being added for SWAT, suspect, and civilians alike. This is based entirely upon where the subject is shot. This also includes death animations. This can all be seen in Deadblock 3. Will there be a level editor? What about mod support? Mod support is currently planned as a post-release feature. It will hopefully include support for user-created maps and missions. Will there be a Kickstarter or Steam early access? How can I support Ron? Neither is planned or desired. Void has investors backing Ready or Not, who will give the project support and creative freedom it requires to flourish. Further, Void does not wish to become accountable to its customer base before the game has been completed. Currently, subscribing and telling others about Ready or Not is the best way to support the project. Email, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube subscription links can be found at the bottom of any Void Interactive webpage. Will ROM be more like SWAT or Rainbow Six Siege? Void's sites are set on establishing a really solid single player co-op experience but without forgetting all the fun times had in SWAT 4 multiplayer. All in all, Ron strives to be more like SWAT 4 than Siege. You heard it here first, folks. So let's move on to the next one. General Game Mechanics, Weapons and Gear. Well, weapons accept accessories? 
Yes, they will. Accessories require an appropriate rail or mounting interface. A point mechanic will limit the accessories which can be equipped simultaneously, though it's expected that host can disable that limit. Accessories do not require unlocking. Customizable accessories we've seen include optics, muzzle brakes, sound suppressors, magazines, stocks. It's early yet and these accessories are subject to change. Will there be less than lethal weapons? Yes, there will be less lethal weapons. These include flashbang grenades, stinger grenades, CS gas grenades, beanbag shotgun rounds, pepper guns, pepper spray, tasers. Grenades can be thrown both overhand and underhand, and their effects can also be mitigated by devices such as gas masks and ballistic shields, which cover anyone behind it. Particles also create a very dusty and smoky environment for the team, similar to real life. What ammunitions will ROM feature? Shotguns have the option of slug, buckshot, beanbag, and breaching rounds, depending on the shotgun and its supported ammo types. Rifles and pistols have FMJ and HP options. Caliber and ammunition choices are consequential. For example, both will affect armor penetration. What about other gear? Other gear includes armor, optowans, door wedges, multi-tools, night vision equipment, flashbangs, chem lights. Items spawned by the tactical analysis and planning phase include ballistic shields, heavy rams, telescopic ladders. Will there be usable snipers or playable sniper roles in Ron? The idea is to make snipers a tactical option during the planning phase for co-op and SP. Snipers won't be AI. Players will be able to control them. Damage and destruction. How will environmental destruction work? Doors can be breached, destroyed, and shattered. Windows also break, in quite a realistic manner too. Currently when you shoot near an object, it will kick up extra smoke, similar to how Squad does it. You won't be able to make holes in walls with bullets, you'll just see bullet holes. Exceptions being glass, and maybe in the future, the corners of certain walls. See environment reaction within DevLog 2 for video demonstrations of effects. How will the health damage model work? One or two shots to vitals will likely kill. Otherwise, shot to arms and legs will degrade aim and speed respectively. The damage model has undergone a lot of tweaking, and it may see further expansion. Will Ron have friendly fire? Friendly fire is definitely included. Void may also allow hosts to disable this, namely for PvP. Further, multiplayer auto kicking has already been implemented, and the current incommation only counts team kills towards auto kicks. This may be expanded to total damage done to friendlies to combat excessive team wounding and less lethal abuse. Miscellaneous mechanics. Will Ron have teammate cams as SWAT 4 did? Yes, there will be teammate cams. They will be different than SWAT 4's and showcase soon. Will Ron have controllable vehicles? Only drones will be controllable. How will reloading work in Ron? How will it be displayed on the HUD? You can press R to tactical reload, which keeps the magazine so you can cycle to it again. You can also hold R to do magazine check, which displays whether the magazine is full, nearly full, half full, and so on. You can double tap R to do a speed reload, which is really fast, but it throws the magazine on the ground. If you did this by accident, you could also pick it up again. These can also be bound to individual controls, so you don't have to have them all in one key if you don't want to. Note that the system is subject to change. Game modes and related mechanics. What game modes will Ron have? Rome will include single player, co-op, and PvP game modes. Currently, there are three multiplayer game modes being tested. Team Deathmatch, VIP Escort, and Hostage Rescue. The Rescue game mode is still under development, and it includes a hostage and defending team. In the single player mode, will there be a story or different unrelated scenarios, like in Swap 4 and Rainbow Six Siege? There will be a story. Will there be mission briefings and planning? From DevLog 1, all missions begin with the tactical analysis and planning phase, currently allowing teams to shut off power grids, blockade entrances, create or choose new entry points, and spawn unique devices including ballistic shields, heavy rams, and telescopic ladders. Further missions will begin with 911 calls and briefings, among other things. How will the AI work in Ready or Not? Both Suspect and SWAT AI will challenge the player and act realistically. The former are designed to be surprisingly spontaneous and very lethal, while the latter will act in a manner that conveys a high level of tactical training, Willis also being able to act dramatically if needed. They are able to perform realistic entry techniques, holding smart angles when waiting for commands, and so on. SWAT will drop cam lights in clear rooms, make arrests and collect evidence in their vicinity upon command if the area is clear, and suspects will react to how the players handle different scenarios. For example, failure to restrain a suspect may result in them getting up when the SWAT are no longer around, and finding something to defend themselves with. Players will have to be strategic and mindful of their surroundings, and use the tools provided to ensure rooms are 
safe before and during entry. Naturally, the civilian AI will act realistically. They will act unpredictably during gunfights. Some might panic when gunshots are fired and try to escape through any available clear exit to run away from the combat, encouraging players to get control of the civilians as soon as possible. Although, of course, civilians aren't the only ones who are caring for their lives. Suspects also take cover based on object height and strength and will attempt to confuse the player by peeking out and then readjusting to find a better fighting position if possible. How will AI be a commanding in single player missions? Single player will include an AI team to command, and orders will be issued in a manner similar to SWAT 3 and SWAT 4. SWAT will start off in a stealth mode, where the ROE, or Rules of Engagement, forces them to call contacts to the team leader before engagement. The officers keep their voices low in this state to ensure they're not heard, and they'll be less likely to initiate combat unless put in danger. Either when the combat begins or when employed at the leader's command, the team will switch to dynamic mode, where the team will become more likely to engage targets if seen, and take more aggressive angles. Round will also include go codes, through which players can separate their element into blue and red. Players can also order them to take different entry points on a room or rooms and initiate the breach as element known as gold, or initiate the breach with a single group, allowing the other group to cover a different location. What will happen when a player dies? Is there a kill cam? Can you spectate friendlies? Currently, the screen goes black. After some time, you will spectate your team through their head cams. What differences will exist between the two teams in multiplayer? Weapons, gear, and team size, 8v8, are symmetrical across game modes. Asymmetrical gameplay will have to wait, as it's very difficult to balance properly. One team will be the SWAT team, while the opposite team will be the suspects. The SWAT units were made from advice from real SWAT units, and carry all the gear you would expect from a modern SWAT unit to carry. Suspects are part of a rogue paramilitary organization with sinister motives, and their models are loosely based off the images of massed IRA forces. Pictures of those models can be seen at Void's Instagram account. Note: The possibility to form 10-player squad mentioned in the first devlog refers to the clan-like system for reaping rewards and competing in leaderboards. In terms of gameplay, this would mean matches will be played by a team of 8 players and 2 on the bench. This is subject to change. So, these two guys that uh, piled this together did a fantastic job of trying to answer all these questions. Um, these are the names of the people that were here, as if you didn't catch it in the beginning there. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and share the video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.